my channel Govind English teacher. Today, a regular speaker is with us, is uh, Pavitra Madam from Karnataka State. And she's an English teacher, an excellent teacher. She's an outstanding speaker also. Okay, now she's with us and we are going to share our experience regarding English communication skills. Today, the topic is, uh, can't we speak English fluently without grammar? Is grammar is essential or necessary or mandatory? Is going to share our views regarding the topic. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your compliments, sir. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everyone. Yeah. See, uh, of course, uh, what I feel, grammar is necessary for, you know, uh, speaking English. But too much focus on grammar is not necessary for speaking English. Because actually, many of the learners of English language too much focus on their perfecting their, you know, English grammar. So, uh, what I feel, uh, it is not necessary. So, even in the beginning of their journey, there is no need of focusing too much on grammar. See, so when they focus on grammar, they lose their, you know, focus from learning fluent English. So, no need of, you know, giving so much importance to focusing on grammar when they are in the beginning of their language learning journey. Yeah, I feel despite not having proper uh, command over English grammar, we can still be fluent in English. Yeah, yes, yes. Focusing on pronunciation, fluency, and vocabulary acquisition. Yeah, it allows us to learn to communicate, you know, our thoughts, ideas, and feelings. And also, it leads to improve our grammar in the meanwhile. So, first, you have to focus on fluency and acquisition of, you know, uh, pronunciation and vocabulary. So, uh, yeah, I have come across many people uh, yeah, who could place their words right one after the other right in a correct order. So, while speaking in English, yeah, they were good in speaking English. Yes, of course, they were making some a few mistakes in grammar. When we make a mistake, we can correct it and where we need to improve and we can improve later. So that what I am saying is, yeah. Uh, if we start, once we start speaking in English fluently, so grammar will automatically come. Sir. So our mind observes the grammatical aspects and we learn grammar. So when we engage in conversation with our uh, you know, language exchange partner, so if we practice daily, regularly. So uh, there, then and there we acquire few vocabulary and then we enrich Grammar also construction of, you know, what do you mean by grammar? Grammar is a set of rules we use to construct a phrase or sentences uh, that convey meaning. So uh, here the main intention or purpose of language is to communicate our feelings, ideas, thoughts to another person. So it is going on even without, uh, you know, constructing proper, you know, uh, using proper rules and regulations, if the message is uh, conveying to someone in the sense so we are uh, you know able to speak fluently in english so uh, the beginners should uh, concentrate on fluency so uh, at that time of course uh, having a good uh, you know knowledge uh, or uh, understanding of grammar is uh, uh, very important it uh, makes us to you know uh, avoid our mistakes while speaking it also helps us to it also gives a clarity effectiveness and also, it helps us to express, express complex ideas and all. So first, uh, we should not uh, bother about uh, learning grammar. Later on, uh, we can give importance to grammar. After uh, you know acquiring the fluency in English, we can give uh, second importance to grammar. Yeah, the ultimate goal is to uh, you know effective communication. So the need and purpose of uh, language is effective communication. So here in the effective communication, this fluency plays a vital role. Yes. So uh, focusing too much on grammar sometimes may, you know, prevent us from, you know, uh, creative expressions. We may not be able to express cre our creativity uh, even in uh, writing or in reading or even in speaking. So uh, uh, this is my opinion, sir. According to me, what I say, yeah, uh, fluency is, uh, you know, uh, more important than grammar so as a beginner of uh, uh, speak as a beginner of learning english language you fo you focus just on fluency not on grammar so 
uh, as a learner we start by practicing speaking fluently with lesser attention so then it becomes you know um, we can learn better as the uh, time passes as the period eventually we learn grammar so no need to bother about uh, other aspects of grammar rules and regulations you just focus on uh, uh, fluency and pronunciation and vocabulary acquisition this is my opinion sir uh, thank you good advice dukka and uh, so i to uh, work here some about this grammar everything you know because yeah. grammarians are not always good speakers but good speakers may be good grammarians also so because when you focus on grammar what will happen the grammar makes us uh, we can't express our ideas properly because we always focus on grammar so the rules and regulations will uh, hindrance and our fluency our focus everything so that's reason and uh, if you really wanted to be a successful speaker first of all focus on uh, fluency fluency means uh, maybe errors maybe uh, just uh, without grammar you can talk so when you are fluent speaker when you are fluent it listener automatically fluent, can be yeah right? everything yeah. automatically comes sir. even the accuracy yeah. uh, will comes automatically so no yes, need to bother yes. about, uh, you know grammar yes yeah that uh, speaking fluently first when you fluent listener and when you fluent speaker automatically whatever we talk uh, our uh, sentence the structure the syntax the concern to the grammar rules and regulations when you follow uh, native speaker speak no when you are keep on talking keep on listening automatically the listening ability and the speaking ability that makes us give uh, us uh, uh, regarding english grammar so, the grammar is interlinked when you are uh, a good listener when you are uh, turn into a good speaker no problem about grammar grammar comes automatically so that what my idea is so in this way and one can be fluent speaker without grammar first of all i have to focus on fluency then accuracy for accuracy one one should have to focus on the grammar so initially you shouldn't bother about grammar forget everything rules and regulations and try to speak it out whatever our feelings and opinions or our ideas our concepts no but that's my idea okay thank you uh, for your uh, coming and uh, make uh, this is a live and ever great great experience and suggestions and advice and tips and tricks and sparing time thank you very much ma'am thank, thank you thank you thank you very much